If you're a real subscriber and only a real subscriber, show your support to Sean Entertainment by uploading a video to YouTube or Facebook saying that you're a real Sean Juent subscriber. It will take you all but 30 seconds. Huge news, breaking news. I said I was going to be here all night long following all the rumors, news updates, developments, changes. The very latest in the WWE and three of my all-time favorite pay-per-views of all time that you can see on the network will be returning. Will be in front of your TVs. Will be fresh. Will be clean. Will be spiffy. Will be... Upping the ante because, ladies and gentlemen, is being reported on WrestlingInc.com. WWE Backlash, September 11th, is returning. WWE Clash of the Champions, September 25th, a Raw event. Backlash will be a SmackDown event. And WWE No Mercy. I got no mercy. All right. October 9, Sacramento, it will be a SmackDown event. Ladies and gentlemen, recently reported how WWE was apparently bringing back the WCW Clash of the Champions. Also reported how they were going to do brand-specific pay-per-view events after the upcoming WWE brand split. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the latest. This is earth-shattering. This is ground-breaking. Remember the significant matches and moments and championship bouts at Clash of the Champions. What about all the no mercy that was shown inside Hell in a Cell? And who can forget the backlash after WrestleMania? Ladies and gentlemen, this is breaking news. And there is a lot more to come. There's tons more to come. Remember to share all my videos on Twitter and Facebook and to show your support that you are a real Sean's View and subscriber. Upload a video to YouTube right now saying I am a real Sean Vuent subscriber and make sure the title of the video does say I am a real Sean Vuent subscriber. All that will be realized and recognized and it will help in the development in my future on this website and I will be able to stay here because of you. Because right now my future is up in the air because there's this belief that I'm buying subscribers. But ladies and gentlemen, no mercy. Remember when Chris Jericho defeated The Rock at no mercy one year. Remember at Clash of the Champions. Remember all the Outstanding moments that Sting or the NWO or Hulk Hogan or Macho Man, Randy Savage, dig it, or the Road Warriors. What about what happened at WWE No Mercy Backlash? I mean, you could, we, we could be running down all the memories and the matches and the significant moments, but ladies and gentlemen, we would be here all day long. So ladies and gentlemen, Backlash, Clash of the Champions, No Mercy it is all coming around. WWE is going to be good again. The WWE is making WWE good again. Can you imagine that? Can you believe that? The WWE is doing, quite frankly, what is best for business. And they're doing things for all the right reasons. It seems like the draft is going to change a lot of things for the best. This is a huge development. This is a step forward for the WWE. There may be a little bit too much pay-per-views. It may be a little bit over the top. It may be a little bit extravagant. But maybe the WWE has something to work with here. And we all would love to see Backlash, Clash of the Champions, and No Mercy Return because that's what we watched growing up as kids. And now here we are in 2016 and we're getting to relive it right in front of our very eyes live as it is going to be broadcasted and brought back and returning again. Subscribe.